So as some of you may already know, a while back, about a year and a half ago, I made a video called The Thomas Law vs. Minigun Debate, where I made the case of why I believe the Thomas Law to be a direct upgrade of the stock minigun. Now, while opinions on this video did vary, I noticed over time that the Thomas Law arguments weren't the only thing that caught my eye. Every now and then I would see comments from heavies saying that the actual reason they didn't enjoy using the Tommy was because of a lack of aim or a lack of accuracy. And while these two comments are examples I found recently, they certainly weren't the worst comments like this I remembered seeing. But regardless of a person's stance on what primary gun they think is the best, this brings up another interesting point of its own, which is, no matter what gun you use, you should always be looking to use good aim and tracking. If you ever really want to become a great heavy, it's something you'll eventually have to get better at. Unfortunately though, some of us admittedly may not have the best aim or tracking ability, which, if we're being brutally honest here, may be the reason some of us chose to play the heavy in the first place. You slow f***ing troglodyte heavy mate, you'll never hit me with your caveman f***ing IQ. I'm gonna farm your f entire family with my strange scattergun. Look, oh, Steve. <laughs> so that's why this video is gonna be focused exactly on that. Improving your aim and tracking ability. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is find TF2 in your Steam library and pull up the game's launch options. In order to ensure you're actually aiming at other players where they should be, we're first going to want to make a few tweaks to your default settings. So, once you've found TF2 in your games list, right click on it, click properties, and look for the box that says set launch options. Once you're there, enter in these five commands. CL interp 0, CL interp ratio 2, CL CMD rate 66, CL update rate 66, and rate 66,000. Alright, so let me explain what these commands are actually going to do. What turning your game's interp down will do is create less delay between your entered actions and the game's visible response to your action. For example, here's a sticky bomb going off at interp 0, and here's a sticky bomb going off at interp 5. Notice how with interp 0, the sticky bomb shows on screen immediately as the gun fires and the enemies take high damage when hit from directly beneath. Versus with interp 5, the sticky bomb shows up way later and the explosion doesn't do near as much because the game doesn't actually perceive the character to be where you perceive them to be on your screen. Now as far as rates go, bringing your rates up to higher values will also help fix this issue in casual servers, because now players that appear on your screen will closer match where casual servers themselves perceive everyone to be. Alright, so after all of that, now you're going to want to visit a website called GameBanana.com. This website is full of mods for different PC games, including map mods, weapon mods, effects, and much more, so feel free to check it out more in depth later. But for now, all you're going to want to do is go ahead and download these two maps, TR Walkway and TR Aim. Now, the first one of these maps we're going to want to connect to is TR Walkway. So once you've downloaded this map, load into TF2, bring up your console commands by pressing your left quote key, and enter this into the command bar at the bottom. Map, TR, walkway, and press enter. Once the map is loaded, join red team, click console commands again, and this time type in SV allow point server command always, and then press enter. Followed by entering retry, and then pressing enter. This will kick you out of the map and then reload you into the map with 16 enemy robots that'll be running all forward in a straight line. Now, before you go running off to get the highest kill streak you've ever gotten in your life, <laughs> walk into the room directly in front of you and look for a switch that looks like this. There are plenty of different commands you can give the robots from this room, but for now, all I want you to focus on is making the robots stray from side to side. So once you've hit this, run outside and begin firing away. Basically, use this map for your basic aiming and tracking skills. Start off slow at first, but then slowly change small features here and there to make things more challenging for yourself. Once you feel you've finally mastered the basics well enough here, you'll now be ready to move on to TR Aim. So TR Aim isn't nearly as complicated of a map as TR Walkway, nor does it have near as many cool, changeable features, but one thing TR Aim does have is random, unpredictable strafing which is exactly the kind of thing you can expect in a real game. If you can learn to track on these kind of enemies, then you should have no real problem tracking in-game. 
So just like on TR Walkway, enter in these commands and wait for the robots to spawn in. The point of practicing on this map will be to learn how to keep track of an enemy, even if their movements become hard to follow. So to make keeping focus on your enemies a bit easier for yourself, both here and in-game, first consider changing up your crosshair a bit. For me, I use the default crosshair at a certain size so that I can see right about the range I need to keep my enemy inside to hit him with the heavies widespread. I also typically keep my crosshair a lime green color. Now, you can use whatever color works for you honestly, but I like lime green because it typically doesn't blend with anything in the background, so I rarely ever lose track of where my crosshair is at while I'm shooting. And lastly, consider changing up your mouse sensitivity to a point where you actually feel confident you could get back on track with your target if they were to move away. TRM is a great place to figure this kind of thing out because if you try and stay with the bots at normal speeds, you realize you have to jerk your aim around a lot to try and stick with them. The trick here is to try to find the perfect balance to where even if your enemy was to jerk around, you still wouldn't lose that much focus on them, but also try to keep your mouse at speeds fast enough so that you could flip around 180 degrees backwards if you had to fight off an enemy spot. And finally, my last advice, just practice. Get out there and play some games. Some of the best of best players have thousands upon thousands of hours in the game, so you shouldn't ever expect to just get good overnight. Get in there, get in some people's faces, and enjoy the competition. And, by the way, if you're still having trouble tracking scouts after this video, just try and get a friend to do some MGEs with, and hopefully you'll get better eventually. The control point is being captured. Back from where you stupid obese Neanderthal, you know you can't hit me, you thick-headed f***ing ape. I'm gonna run circles around you. Eat. My. Ass. Let's <laughs> go.